Hello everyone. Two weeks ago I came across this conductive PLA filament in Amazon. I wanted to try it out so I took a look at the options and let me tell you they are not cheap. But anyways, I bought 200 grams of it. I decided on this filament because of the price and also has pretty good reviews. So I went ahead and bought it, the link is in the description, but all the filaments in Amazon are the same. When it finally came, I started working in the first prototype. The first one I wanted to make it small, but after printing I realized that the more surface area the better, so more energy can go through. So after that I designed another one a lot more simple and bigger. After that I just had to load this tiny filament and start printing. And by the way, I have never printed in a filament this small is hilarious. It has all the settings like a normal PLA, the only difference is that it's a lot more brittle. But to be fair, it prints amazing, sticks to the bed, doesn't clog the nozzle, because that was something the Amazon review said was a problem. And after an hour of printing, it was done. There was only one thing left to do, and it was assemble it and try it out. And the moment of truth. Yes, it worked as planned. The only disadvantage of this system is that when I connect the battery to the LED itself, it's a lot brighter. This filament reduces the current by half. But to be fair, what were we expecting from a filament that contains 25% of metal? It does what it's supposed to do, and it's fun to play with. I'm sure in the future there will be more conductive filaments for a cheaper price. If you want a more conductive material, you can spend $200 in things like this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, download my model in the link in the description, and also check my other projects.